The investigation stems from ethics complaints. CBS 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan joins us now with a look at the potential consequences of some of those claims. Jamie, on top of the detailed ethics complaints, there are allegations facing the former head of state law enforcement. So I sat down with a former U.S. attorney, Doug Jones, and former federal judge and current law school dean, John Carroll, to talk about the possible criminal statutes that could come into play. Case numbers have now been assigned to the ethics complaints filed by state auditor Jim Ziegler against Governor Robert Bentley and senior political advisor Rebecca Caldwell Mason. Governor Bentley, had pre Bentley previously issued a statement saying that he fired former ALEA secretary Spencer Collier over concerns related to the misuse of funds. Collier alleges he was fired for submitting an affidavit to the Attorney General's office dismissing a prosecutorial misconduct claim related to the Mike Hubbard investigation. What, if any of this could cross into actual legal circumstances, is up in the air. I think we all know that there are no facts that are proven or presented to any body, so we're only speculating. But certainly, you know, if someone ordered uh, a person to lie in a, as a witness in a criminal proceeding, that would be a very serious matter, witness tampering. Uh, if someone were to use state resources, a plane, personnel, cell phone, offices, other resources of the state for a personal matter, that would be a potential Ethics Act violation. I think that the more serious issues are the ones involving the misuse of state resources by the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency and or the obstruction of justice with regard to the ongoing uh, Mike Hubbard uh, case that's pending in Opelika. Now we've reached out to the state attorney general's office for information about the complaint against Spencer Collier, but our request was denied. We've also reached out to the Alabama Ethics Commission. State law requires an investigation to be completed within 180 days of a complaint being filed. Now coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll have the reaction from another Republican voice calling for the governor's resignation. This time they have some demands for the legislature also. In the studio, Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News.